Okay, so let's talk about prerequisites. Now, these are the things that you must know or you must have on your computer in order to make your own God modes. Number one is going to be Ruby programming language. Now, it is not 100% necessary to learn Ruby programming, but I would 100% say that it is going to help you while making your own God modes. Now, if you do not know what the code is doing, you will basically get into the confusion of what should be changed to make sure that the game works. So, I would highly recommend that you learn Ruby before you start making your own God modes. Ruby is actually a really easy language to learn and it would just take about 7 hours of total learning in order to learn Ruby. So that's like an hour a day for a week. Now if you want to learn Ruby, uh, I have this tutorial linked below in the description. But you do not necessarily have to use this particular tutorial. You can also use any of the tutorials out there, whichever suits you best. Now, all you need to learn in Ruby is the very basics. You do not need to get into classes and all. You just need to know what the code is doing just by reading the code. All right. Next up is going to be RPG Maker XP. RPG Maker XP is the software that is used to make all these games that we are hacking. So you must have RPG Maker XP because the rest of the guide is practically useless if you do not have it. Now I would suggest buying it on Steam because it is not that uh, expensive. But if you just do not want to buy it, then there is a link in the description that will take you to this video where you can get it. Next up is going to be very basic, very basic of PowerShell because there are some places in this guide that I am using PowerShell and it would be easier for you to understand what is going on if you already know what uh, the codes are, I mean the commands are. So just make sure you watch this video. Uh, I will be linking every single link that I show you right now in the description. So uh, you must make sure you at least have the knowledge of this particular video for PowerShell. And if you also want to learn a little more than just the basics, then you can also go to this particular tutorial by Tech with Tim. Now, again, this is also really basics of PowerShell, but it is going to help you uh, understand what I am doing in the tutorial. Next up is going to be Python 3. Python 3, uh, you only need Python 3. You do not actually need to know what programming is in Python 3 because we are just going to use some of the scripts that I made in the guide, but uh, you do not actually need the knowledge of Python 3. So just download it, install it, and you're good to go. Oh, and just make sure that you check any of the checkboxes that come while installing Python because we must make sure that Python is installed in the path along with pip. Uh, now again, you do not actually need to know what Python and pip are. You just need to make sure all of the checkboxes are checked while you're installing Python. Next up is Java Runtime Environment. Again, you do not need the knowledge of Java. You just need Java Runtime Environment. Just download it, install it, and you're good to go. Next is Windows Terminal. This is going to be really useful because usually it takes uh, extra steps to open a terminal in some folder. But with Windows Terminal, you can just right click and open terminal. And finally, we are going to be using Git. Now, again, you do not need to know how Git works. Just install it using all of the defaults and you will be good to go. Now, uh, these are pretty much all of the prerequisites that I had in mind. But if there is anything that I wanted to add in future, I will make sure to add it in the description. So before you go on, just make sure you have read the description uh, and you have done anything that is uh, said in the description.